All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use this time to show you guys a few things on how we can find the area of a trapezoid. First things first, we're going to draw a trapezoid. Okay, so a trapezoid with a trapezoid, I have two sides. I have two sides, and those two sides need to be parallel with each other. Okay. Trapezoid will only have one set of parallel sides. If it had more than that, it would then be a parallelogram, all right? Trapezoid has one set of parallel sides, this side here and this side here, top and bottom, okay? All right, our trapezoid also technically has two bases, okay? So we have one base up here, which I'm going to label in blue, and I'm going to call that base one. I like to always use the top one as my base one, my bottom one as my base two. Sometimes our trapezoid can be sideways, and then you can do the right one as base one, the left one as base two. Doesn't really matter, okay? My other base is here, okay? So on a trapezoid, the two bases are the two sides that the are each side that's parallel to each other, okay? So here's my, there's my base two, okay? Trapezoid also has a height to it, okay? And our height in our trapezoid is always going to be the straight, a straight line that can connect the two bases. So here, it's just a dotted line, and again, it makes a 90 degree angle with the bases so that way i know that so now i know that this is my height okay which we're going to use for eight we we're going to use as h okay in order to find the formula to find the area of a trapezoid is area equals base one plus base two okay Okay, base one plus base two, and I put that in parentheses to tell me that that's what's going to be done first. Okay, then I'll end up multiplying that by the height. And then all that, once I've done that, all that gets divided by two. Okay, this bar here in math. That bar there means divide, okay? So that bar means to divide. So we're doing base one plus base two times the height divided by two, okay? So let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and do an example. All right, so for the example here, we're gonna, we're gonna say that my trapezoid here, my base one, is going to have a length of five units, okay? five units. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say five feet, right? I want to have a solid unit there, right? Make that a little less weird, All right? Five feet. I'm going to have a base on my, on here of seven feet. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to end up with a height of four feet. And I'm going to go here, four feet. Okay, so I have a base one of five feet. I have a base two of seven feet. I have a height of four feet. Okay, so I'm first going to I'm first going to go ahead and do utilize my formula, but I'm just going to kind of take carry this out step by step. The parentheses here tell me that I'm first going to do base one plus base two. So the first part that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my five plus seven, okay? Five plus seven, five plus seven ends up giving, giving me five times, five plus seven, sorry, that's five, five plus seven is gonna give me a total of 12, okay? Now I'm gonna take that 12, and the second part here, according to my formula, is to multiply that by the height. My height is four, so I'm going to do 12 times 4. And you can organize this out any way you want to. I just kind of like to break it down step by step like this. 
So 12 times 4, that's going to give me 48. Right? And then the last part is, oh yeah, this bar means I'm taking every I'm taking my total and I'm going to divide it by 2. Okay, so I'm going to do 48 divided by 2, and I'll get 24 feet. And then since my unit's in feet, it's going to be feet squared. Okay, feet squared. All right, that's finding the area of that's finding the area of a trapezoid.